Hello, my name is Dr. Nicholas Cohen and I'm here to share with you 10 tips for gout. Gout is a very painful disease of the joints. Here's the first tip to prevent gout. Keep a good body weight. A good body weight is a body mass index between 18.5 and 24.9. To find out your body mass index, go online and type in, in a Google search BMI calculator. Then put in your height and weight. If your BMI is between 18.5 and 24.9, you're an ideal body weight, and an ideal body weight helps prevent gout. If you already have gout, an ideal body weight helps prevent acute gout attacks. And if you're overweight, which is a BMI greater than 25, the most important thing you can do is to lose weight. Tip number two, certain foods can cause gout in people who already have gout. They can cause gout flares. So, Foods that have been shown to cause gout are red meat, seafood, and foods and drinks that contain high fructose corn syrup, like most uh, sodas. So avoid these foods as much as possible. Tip number three is to drink less beer and hard alcohol. For example, gin and vodka. Beer and hard alcohol have been shown to cause gout. On the other hand, wine has not been shown to cause gout. Tip number four is eat more of the following foods. Coffee has been shown to decrease the risk of gout, and low fat dairy products also decrease the risk of gout. So for people with gout and people who want to prevent gout, drinking coffee and low fat dairy products is a good way to do, do so. Tip number five, vitamin C. If you have gout, it's recommended that you take vitamin C 500 milligram gram tablet every day. This will help prevent gout attacks. Tip number six. There are certain medications to avoid when you have gout, especially diuretics, which um, can cause gout attacks. Two common diuretics that are associated with gout are hydrochlorothiazide and furosemide, or Lasix. So if you have high blood pressure, it's try to avoid these medications. Medications that are helpful, one blood pressure medication, Losartan, actually can reduce your risk of gout. So if you need a blood pressure medication, Losartan is a good option for people with gout. Tip number seven. If you're having an acute gout attack, it's important to see your doctor. But your doctor will likely recommend, um, if you don't have any reasons not to take it, a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug. Naproxen is a good example because naproxen only needs to be taken twice a day. Um, and it's been shown in studies to have, to be one of the best options for treating acute gout. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatories like NSAIDs, I mean like naproxen, should be avoided in people with stomach ulcers or other peptic ulcers, kidney disease or heart disease. The recommended starting dose during acute gout attack is 500 milligrams twice a day. Then, as soon as symptoms improve, usually within three days, you have the dose of naproxen to 250 twice a day. And ideally, limit the total number of days of using naproxen to seven to 10 days because side effects increase the longer you use, the chance of side effects increases the longer you're taking an NSAID. And all all treatment with NSAIDs for acute gout should be done in consultation with your doctor. Tip number eight, colchicine. Colchicine is another drug used to treat acute gout flares. And it's the number one option if you can't take naproxen or other non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, specifically if you have peptic ulcers, kidney disease, or heart disease. So the starting dose for naproxen uh, colchicine is usually 1.2 milligrams, which is two of the 0.6 milligram tablets, starting as soon as you start to have your gout attack. And then another 0.6 milligram tablet one hour later. After that, you take 0.6 milligrams on following days if you're continuing to still have symptoms of acute gout. All use of, the pro of colchicine should be done in consultation with your doctor. And tip number nine is allopurinol. Allopurinol is the best drug to take to prevent gout. Start at 100 milligrams per day and then adjust the dose to maintain a urate 
or a uric acid level in your blood of less than six. Dose adjustments should be made every three weeks. When starting allopurinol, it's important to remain hydrated by drinking at least two liters of fluid daily. This will help prevent kidney stones as you're urinating all of the uric acid out of your body. And it will also help prevent acute gout attacks. When starting allopurinol, it's recommended that you also be using colchicine, 0.6 milligrams daily, for the first six months of starting allopurinol. And tip number 10 is believe in yourself. Not only can gout be prevented by certain lifestyle modifications and taking allopurinol and avoiding certain foods and taking and eating some other foods, as well as taking vitamin C, but acute gout attacks can be managed with the help of your doctor and with some proven, very effective medications. I hope these tips help and thank you for listening. Have a great day.